Yeah, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today's episode is a it's a car setup video. So as you know, I work out of my personal vehicle. Um, so yeah, so I'll just show you that you know you just need something to carry your tools with. Um, you don't necessarily need a work van or a truck. It does help out, but you know my kid's stroller. So so we have two sets of gloves here. These are just my cheap. They're like maybe three mil gloves right here. These are like my, my route work, something that's not gonna take me that long. These right here, the back, the box got wet, but I'll have a link for these below. These are the Hardy nine mil um, nitro gloves. I get these at Harbor Freight. Got these on sale for like 13 bucks, so pretty good. That's more for sale, so that's gonna take me longer than an hour, housework and stuff like that, because these don't rip as easily as these do. These are just, like I said, cheap. Like I said, nine, probably, they're somewhere between one and three mil. I don't know, the box doesn't say. So yeah, so then the next thing is I have my work hat here. So this is a Mission brand hat, it's like 10 bucks or something on Amazon. Love this hat, used it all of summer, really helps out. You know, it has the clips here to make it look like a cowboy hat or take it down. Um, all you gotta do, best thing about this is you just throw this in some cold water and wring it out and it'll keep you nice and cool and it'll protect you from the sun. So here we have my bucket. So it's the Unger heavy duty bucket. So this is big enough for an 18 inch uh, scrubber and stuff. So I have two in here. I have this box here that control contains all my chemicals and stuff. Um, this here's my tool belt. This is just, just a Husky brand. This is cheap from um, to cold Home Depot. So to get the job done, I, I like to roll my towels so I can fit as many in here as I can. Typically. We, up to six i like it because it came with three other pockets um pouches but i only need one of them because this one has the hammer holder here which is good for a squeegee holder as i use it for typically has my depending on the job it'll typically have a 14 or a 12 inch uh squeegee there um i typically put my phone in this one so it's easily accessible um, it has little pockets inside, so typically in here I'll have like my putty knife if I'm doing screen work and stuff. I can put stuff here on the sides, so it's pretty good. So after that, I also have Edoray Sidekick holder, so I like this one. Um, there's the belt loop for the belt. I have my Unger 18 inch squeegee and Unger 18 inch scrubber. So that's pretty much what I use for my bucket on the belt. And then we have a bunch of squeegees and t-bars here so i got the edoray pro grip um t-bars here i got the edoray mighty glove there we also got the porcupine glove as well i got more i got the master channel or the super channel 18 inch from edoray with the quick release as you just saw comes right off we got a couple 14 inches right here we got the 14 inch again uh, quick release one here and then another 14 inch original the og the brass channel then we got the unger with i think this is the accelerate 3.0 complete with the liquidator channel so we got that with the flick pad and this is mostly for pole work if i'm doing just to keep it easy on myself with the flick pad here typically keep this at the 25 degree angle 25 degree that's the one i like the most so that's there then we got some knee pads some cheap home depot knee pads and these gloves are mostly to me during summertime when i have to get up on these roofs just to get to protect my hands from the heat and then we have this is the unger um, pad holder that i use it comes with the pole which is somewhere around here and then you know we just got our chemicals here we got um we got diamond magic we got this is for touch-ups and for the car um, glass cleaner we got the unger soap we got edery soap crazy larry soap is coming soon so be stay tuned for that we got the dawn people often ask me about my brushes so here are my brushes oh we have the scraper as well forget world industry so this is my main brush here so this is the one I use when I'm doing commercial and houses. It's pretty strong bristle, but gets the job done. Has a big footprint, so it cleans up all the sills pretty good. Then I have these here. These are just for tracks. 
and then my Morpher tracks this little paintbrush here I also have um, these are like heavy duty gloves that I wear and then my putty is just a stiff I don't know the dimensions for this one but it's pretty it's pretty sturdy so it'll get every it gets every screen out no problem got the steel wool here quad zero so yeah so then if I need my ladder I'll put the seats down and then I have the ladder there uh, it's an 18 it's 18 foot multi-position ladder from gorilla uh, works good um, actually it works okay doesn't really help a lot I might have to upgrade either to the the um, the 24 foot one or just buy an extension ladder because that one doesn't really help me out on two floors a lot of two floor stuff so it's kind of a waste of money I'm probably gonna look I'm probably looking to sell it so I'm gonna try to get rid of it um, so yeah so that's pretty much it everything typically is in here this comes out and then I just grab what I need throw it in the bucket do the job um, business cards are there extension there if I need it um, the pole is a five foot pole, so it fits perfectly in here without the tip. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's what I'm saying. So if you're trying to get into this industry, you don't need a, a truck or a van. You just need something to transport at least this. And if you have it, a ladder. Uh, pretty much everything you see here is all you need for pretty much everyday work. You don't need any more than this. All these squeegees are overkill. You don't need all these squeegees. You know, I just rather have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So, you know, pretty much a kit like this couple hundred bucks um i didn't you know all the edra stuff was free they provided stuff for the channel to review um i bought this the flick pad i got on amazon just because it was a faster delivery time than wcr um if you're in the west coast you know i suggest you try to use magic um window magic supply they're a west coast uh distributor so you'll get your stuff faster than wcr because they're on the east coast so yeah so if you like this video comment down below what you liked what you want to see and if you um yeah so thanks again thank you for if you like this content please subscribe like share I'm trying to help out the community here all right till the next one peace